Remote towns in Guatemala are struggling to cope with a major demographic shift caused by the loss of younger generations leaving for the U.S. One America's Kara McKinney has all the details. Rapidly shrinking towns across Guatemala are a visible sign of how out of control the immigration crisis has become. A full 1 percent of the Central American nation's population has left for the U.S. since September of 2018. That represents about 170,000 migrants, most of which are families or unaccompanied minors, hoping to cash in on the generosity of the U.S. The last time we had crossings near this level, they were almost all single adults from Mexico who could be swiftly repatriated. There's a big difference. About half of Guatemala's population lives in small villages in the countryside. That's also where most of the migrants are leaving from, unlike the migrants in Honduras or El Salvador, who are leaving from more urban areas. This demographic shift is negatively affecting projected growth for these areas, where teenagers and young adults are leaving in greater numbers, a fact reflected in the growing number of abandoned homes. A study published this month by Vanderbilt University found over a million young Guatemalans say they are very likely to migrate within the next three years, with most saying they have their eyes on blue-collar jobs in the U.S. Locals interviewed by The Wall Street Journal talk about friends, family members and classmates who leave for the U.S. at a second's notice, making it harder for schools and businesses to maintain their numbers. Many experts say this will only make the economic crisis worse in Guatemala, leading to even greater emigration out of the country. And Democrats are not helping matters in this regard as they refuse to close immigration loopholes and they cheer the arrival of new illegal immigrants and asylum seekers. Not only has their stamp of approval encouraged even greater numbers of Central Americans to make the dangerous journey north, but has also empowered human smugglers in their illegal enterprise. As a result, we see all the horrors of the human smuggling trade at the border today. Women and girls are sexually assaulted at horrific rates. Hundreds die in the desert each year of thirst and exhaustion. Infectious diseases we'd all but eradicated with vaccines are appearing again in border communities. Kara McKinney, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.